All right, hello, and welcome back to the Outer Worlds. Hello, Vio. How's it going? Get everything started up here. There we go. I'm okay, too. I'm pretty tired, but that's fine. Alright, let's see. Bright sunlight remote access to the station. Sure. Oh, wait. Oh, wait, this is still... Oh, I have to speak to Phineas. Okay, where's my... My ship. I should probably fix up all my stuff while I'm here. Oh yeah, I got a better piece of armor, I think. Uh, oh, what's this? The soft speaker. Uh, firing. What? Soft speaker, firing noise minus 90%, intimidate plus 10. This is the big stick that a soft speaker carries. I guess it's like a, <laughs> a silent... Weapon. Interesting. I don't really use melee though. Much damage. 264. Let's see, is it a. Uh... 64. No, this one does more. Just a, a few more points of damage, but, but this one. Actually, I'll probably use Parvati. Maybe. Eventually. I'll see what Phineas says about... Neoka. Ah, uh, let's see. What's I doing? Oh yeah, I can uh, modify the sniper, I think. I didn't put anything on it. Oh yeah, I don't have any mods on it. Range. Oh no, that's the, the mod that's already on it. What is this? A barrel. Out oh, fire rate. Spread now. Firing noise. That might be good. Oh, or crit damage. No, crit damage would be better. Then we've got magazine, plasma, or no, just a extended mag, and then what is this? I think the, the sight I have on it's probably good. Hmm. Yeah, that's fine. Can't really do anything else. Oh, here, let me put this 
probably not going to use the the science weapons here. Yeah. Or the shotgun here. Hold that, I guess. Okay. Now arriving at Phineas's top secret orbital lab. shoulder if I went behind a wall of bulletproof glass. I don't know how you did it, but Hiram Blythe just sent me everything I needed. According to Hiram's message, Minister Clark has ordered a suspicious amount of dimethyl sulfoxide. It's almost as if he's hoarding the colony's remaining supply. Typical elitist. Hoarding supplies during a time of scarcity. Once I have those chemicals, we can revive the Hope's colonists and put some decent people in charge. So, good news. You're going to Byzantium and stealing those chemicals. Exciting. Oh, uh, just tell me what to do. What's so important about these chemicals? Uh, what is that about Minister Clark? You make it sound so simple. If I had time and several blackboards, I could explain the details to you, but to put it briefly, dimethyl sulfoxide is the reason you're alive today. The chemical is absolutely essential to reviving the Hope's colonists. I need you to steal as much as you possibly can. The more, the better. If you don't bring me enough chemicals, I might not be able to save the Hope's colonists, and then nothing will stop the board from destroying this colony. So, this is about Minister Clark. Aloysius Clark, Minister of Earth. Virtually every colony requires the presence of a Minister of Earth. Clark is complicit in every one of the board's crimes. Whenever the board issues some new decree, you'll find Clark's signature on the dotted line. You make it sound so simple. Oh, I understand it must seem impossible to you. Infiltrate Byzantium, the crown jewel of the colony. Steal a batch of rare chemicals from a heavily guarded estate. In order to do the impossible, you must first divide it into a series of smaller, less impossible tasks. So what's the plan? Ah, yes, the details. I'm not about to ask you to rampage through Byzantium trading bullets with the board's agents. We'll have to resort to subterfuge. Carmen Imagawa. She's my contact in Byzantium. Meet her at the docks. She'll have all the necessary intelligence you require. I'm giving you my old nav key to Byzantium. You'll need it to land in the Golden City. Remember, you're looking for dimethyl sulfoxide. Big green bubbling vessel with a warning label. I'll take as much as you can find. Anything I should know about Carmen Imagawa? You can trust her, if that's what you're asking. Imagawa is the finest special agent in Byzantium that money can buy. My money, anyway. Actually, there was something else I wanted to talk to you about. Of course, of course. What's on your mind? Oh, that's it. Okay. <laughs> Hmm. 
Uh, meet the contact. I'll probably do the side stuff first. Let's see. Oh, wait. Third of Hawthorne's logs mentioned. Oh, okay. There's something in Gladys's shop on the the groundbreaker for a science weapon. I understand. Captain, I'm receiving an urgent docking request from another vessel. Greetings from the Halcyon Parcel Service. Delivery is guaranteed within standard margins of certainty. I've got a special delivery for Alex Hawthorne of the Unreliable. Uh, with your permission, I'll see it transferred to your ship. Send it over. What is it? Too bad I'm not Hawthorne. It's a parcel, sir. <laughs> Forget I asked. Are you sure it's not a package? This is the Halcyon Parcel Service. We don't deal in packages. Sure. With alacrity. Stand by, Captain Hawthorne. An HPS certified distribution technician has deposited the parcel into your cargo hold in accordance with hazardous waste disposal procedures. They did what? They dispensed three complimentary spritzes of Anti Cleo's Citrus Squirt Air Freshener. That's the HPS touch for you, Captain Hawthorne. On behalf of HPS, I'd like to remind you that HPS is not responsible for any damage, defacement, or unseemliness to your parcel. Thank you for your patience, and please remember HPS for all of your future parcel related needs. Uh, sure thing. Cut the transmission leave. Make a rude hand gesture and then cut the transmission. Leave conversation. Hmm. From Ted Kaczynski. Oh, that's mysterious package. Harold at hand. Something's happened to me. Got mixed up in some shady business. What? I'm oh, it's the DLC. Oh. But I landed on something big. And now this job's an itch I can't stop scratching. I don't want to do the DLC the yet. But I guess it's it's making me. I'm close to figuring out why. But something dangerous is closer to me. Got the job through one mini Ambrose. Top runger who just came into some money was offering a hefty bid card for qualified help. Trust me, her money's good. Talk to Minnie. Take the job. If I ain't gonna live to see the payday, might as well be you. Consider us even, old pal. Well, that fellow certainly seemed trustworthy. I've gotten jobs from some unusual sources, but this is a first. Congratulations, Captain. I don't mean to sound prim, Captain, but there's got to be a better way to ask someone to do you a favor. I just want to say, we got to take this job. This is the closest I ever been to starring in a serial drama. Only thing we're missing is a couple cameras and a soundtrack. At least this won't be boring. Ada, what the hell is going on? Nice of him to share the tip. Uh, money and intrigue? I'm sold. That's ominous. Lucky Montoya owed Captain Hawthorne a considerable debt. I believe this is what humans refer to as payback. Captain, the message contains landing coordinates for a small asteroid in the Charybdis cluster. It was recently registered to a Wilhelmina Andros. Uh, who is this guy? He was an old friend of Alex Hawthorne's. Lucky Montoya had a statistically significant tendency to encounter situations of extreme danger. Oh, really? I thought he lost his arm gambling. He was also the fourth best paid freelancer in the system. Sounds promising. Only the fourth. There are several hundred freelancers operating in Halcyon. Considering the numbers, Mr. Montoya ranked among the top percentile. 
This had less correlation with his measured aptitudes, which rank at or below average, than with a pattern of fortunate circumstances. And noted, let's get moving. You mean luck. Any chance he's alive? Dumb. That sounds good for me. That's not... <laughs> Captain, just when I think I've heard the depths of insight you're capable of, you find a way to surprise me. I do not advise deriving probabilities from coincidence, but I am programmed to offer you encouragement. I have transferred the coordinates for Ambrose Manor to your navigation terminal. We can travel there when you are ready. You got a second? You'll <laughs> have the fucking moon hats. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay, oh, I'm on the ground right here. So I should probably talk to the companions. I bet they have some kind of a companion quest or something. I still need to do for some of them. You don't much like me, huh, Dr. Ellie? It's nothing personal. I'm just not the touchy-feely type. It's just... You seem fine with the others. Did I do something to make you unhappy with me? You gotta stop taking things so personal. You're setting yourself up for a letdown. Personal very crunch. Oh wait, what's this telling me to go? What? Where's this? They acquire science weapon. Really, the smuggler acquired several leads on the way. Need help? <laughs> In what way? Mentally? Yes. It's almost time for today's episode of The Chairman's Children. Care to listen with me? Oh, it's not there. Said it was in there. Said to look at her. Her shop. This something I tossed together. Like to keep my hands busy. Is this. Okay, that's like a unique uh, pistol or something. Yeah, what? It's not there? It's like saying that it's like. Back here? Because then I look on the map and it's like not, not there. And I didn't see anything in her shop that if says, uh, uh, I wanted to ask you something what else. What do you want then? My hard earned wisdom? They mentioned the groundbreaker is outside of the board's control. That's right, dearie. The only independent station in the colony. That's us. Though for how long, I can't say. That all depends on Miss June Lay. Oh, okay, it's in a room after the duct were okay. I'll I'll look there. How do you mean? The board can't abide a community that won't bend to its will. Back to my other questions. Oh, right. I'll I'll see what I can do. What do you do here? Oh, a little of this, a little I think of that. I've, I don't remember if I I've said this before. Items that require discretion to dispose of. Knickknacks, curios. I also need throw pillows stuffed with the hair of famous tossball players. But that's more of a passion project. So that's what that smell is. Sometimes the hairs poke out between the seams, but I don't mind. That's what the law gave us matches for. I need that's it for the what you wanted to talk about, the completionist in me. <laughs> it's not about the the weapon. Ask the common folk, it's about <laughs> completing the collection. The monsters on Monarch desperate to gobble you up. Because that's what the board tells them, you see. I think they made some fool mistake that would make them look bad to the rest of the colony. And they're trying to hide the evidence. What makes you think that? Those board folk are real prideful-like. Never want you looking behind the curtain, lest you see their derrieres. But only the score. 
The whole colony's not much more than a diorama, showcasing one board screw up after another. That's why we gotta keep them from getting their grubby mitts on Groundbreaker. She's our mess. Are there still people down there? Probably. Every once in a while, we get these snippets of radio chatter. Edna shows them to me. Some man hooting and hollering about the light in us all. Claims he's transmitting from Monarch, but who knows if that's true. Might be true. Might be some new trick from the board. Anytime, sweetheart. You know where to find me. Okay. It's in the... Okay. Oh. I mean, this is the area I'm not supposed to be in. What? Oh, it's a... It's a Sam. Oh god, does it... Does it mess up my stats? Yes, it does. Uh... Patient's medical chart. Patient experiences unusual side effects of post-hibernation after his latest voyage. Uh, complains of longer days and increased boredom. As if time itself is slowing down. It's never... Oh, I've never seen complications this severe, and I'm prescribing a high dosage of stims. While I'm optimistic that I can address the symptoms, the cause still troubles me. I'm going to try reaching out to conveyor crews and uh, some corp docs I know on Terra 2 for answers. Update, I've learned that interstellar crews call the condition skip flu. And everyone I ask says they know someone who knows someone who had it. Uh, in extreme cases, they say that the person's body and mind break down entirely. Bored medics. Uh, the few who bothered to stay, uh, to reply, I insisted the patient was making it up to shirk their duties. I don't believe my patient is uh, malingering. But how do I prove that when the board won't even review my evidence. That's... Ah, okay, I see. Here's a... Remember Auntie Cleo? Because she remembers you. When you were sick, who took your temperature? When you were high... Oh, there's... And there's people back here. Here falls under the salvage protocols of finders keepers.
Nope. Oh yeah, prismatic hammer. Uh, Hammersmith was working on a hammer weapon, the Pulse Hammer, when its rival company, Armored Ballistics, uh, stole the plans, rushed in, uh, rushed its development, and beat them to market. All the while ridiculing Hammersmith with a marketing campaign about them having no hammers in their weapon line, Hammersmith executives, uh, uh, demanded the ultimate hammer to be procured, uh, but this prototype was so expensive that it never entered production. Oh, discovery. While rummaging through the back base, I discovered a very old hammersmith crate that seemed to have been sealed for a very long time. A bit of elbow grease and determination pried it open, but I couldn't make heads or tails of my discovery. A prototype hammer. I didn't know Hammersmith actually made hammers, but I brought it to my lab for a closer look. How strangely it glows. The trail of its wake lingers, even when my eyes are closed. Mystery. I spent more time on the hammer. Uh, its internal workings are a state-of-the-art state thermal, electrical, and chemical systems all working in harmony. How is this even possible? The weapon is a breakthrough in circuitry and engineering, and many of its systems appear rigged against tampering. Uh, there's a curious energy signature swirling around the weapon, though I have yet to identify the source. The air tastes of copper, and I have lost several teeth. Uh, is it radioactive? <laughs> Troubles. I've had the most sublime prismatic dream uh, since I invited the hammer into my bedchamber. Never mind that for now. Uh, good news first. The energy signature matches Blondit's uh, elusive N-rays. Uh, raising the hammer's elemental properties to four, shock, plasma, corrosion, and radiation. Uh, now for the bad. In my attempts to uh, neuter the self-destruct functionality, I inadvertently caused a small fire. The hammer's manual controls may never function again. Swinging it seems to be the only way of cycling through its elemental modes. I must take greater care with future experiments. Annihilation. I've taken the liberty of locking myself in the workshop. My tinkerings were all for naught. There is no prototype. I am simply too flawed to recognize its perfections. The hammer is a lesson, a symbol. It whispers to me that disorder rules all things. But with a little ambition, we can harness that power. Only by inflicting chaos upon others can we... Uh, transmute disorder into harmony. And that is a lesson Halcyon is not ready to hear. This. Okay, I think that's it for this. Oh, there's leading up here. Oh, there is a little. Oh, okay, that was Weapons of the Void. Let's see. Uh, Phineas Contact, that's the, both of the DLCs. What is this? The, the Ice Palace.
point, I should probably just go put that the weapon away. Because I'm not going to use it, but... I like to have it in the collection of all of the science weapons. Is this... I'll uh, probably just break those down, though. Oh yeah, did I get any more room decorations? Here, I got the, the plant... Uh, is that the Iconoclast? Uh, the Iconoclast. Now that Zora's in charge, the Iconoclast have a fighting chance of surviving and spreading for Monarch. Is that the same thing? Yes. Uh, Crown Lantern. Sanjar donated these after you helped MSI. CNP. A uh, Borschtwurst, uh, sign. Do me proud and I shall shower you in Borschtwurst and gold. Uh, cross me and I will serve your head on a silver platter with mushroom gravy. Signed by the Borscht King of Monarch himself. Mounted Manta Queen Head. What better... Uh, what better to establish dominance over an alien ecosystem than by hunting its most dangerous predator and mounting its head on your wall? There's like some mushrooms up there. HRS 1084. We reach HRS 1084, Captain. It's emitting a very weak docking signal. I almost mislabeled it as normal etheric static. Oh yeah, I forgot to talk to. I'm gonna talk to the companions and see if they have a a companion quest or something. I already did. Uh, Max is, I think. Maybe he has something else to say. By verity, by strength. What oh no, I have to meet somebody today? for Max's quest, I think. Tell me again the book. Uh, remind me. Uh, what's your take on this whole uh, Gorgon business? Perhaps it's just my judicious nature, but I think we should be careful if we're following up on this lucky fellow's message. What do you say that? I've always felt caution as the best approach when one has delivered a message attached to a severed limb. Noted, but uh, what do you think of what he was saying? Do you think it's a setup? I think it adds to the intrigue. And that's what we love about you, Captain. What do you think about the message itself? It doesn't strike me as a setup, but I still advise caution. So you think we should look into it? Uh, if it's a setup, whoever's behind it will regret it. I couldn't have said it better myself. Okay. Hey, boss. So we're just gonna march straight into Byzantium and acquire some rare chemicals right under the board's nose. I sure hope you negotiated for a raise with this Phineas guy. Why do you say that? It isn't about money. I mean, I mean to get my due at the end of this. Then we'd better hope he doesn't blow himself up while we're gone. Or if he does, that he has a killer insurance policy. In either case, you should know Wells isn't the only game in town. The board's put a bounty on his head, and they've got more than enough bits to pay it. I've got no love for the corporations, but they know how to take care of their people. The ones at the top, anyway. Ah, uh, might as well aim high. I'm not going to become some corporate lackey. The board's corrupt. Don't 
think of it as being a lackey. Think of it as doing a job and getting paid really, really well. I know you want to save the day, but don't forget to look after yourself. No one else out here is going to. Thanks for the advice. Oh, Ellie, I didn't know you cared. That's for sure. You're wrong about that. Hey, don't get any ideas. I'm just making sure you last long enough to pay me at the end of this. Anything else? Let's talk about the Gorgon job. If there's one thing you could say about Lucky Montoya, he was always at the center of a story. Guess this is fitting. You knew Lucky Montoya? Sure. Like Ada said, he was a big name among freelancers. I met him at Lost Hope once. He was buying rounds for everyone and telling a story about one of his jobs. Pretty sure half of it was made up. Why do you say that? I bet the... <laughs> but the drinks were still free. Exactly. There was just something about Montoya I couldn't quite trust. He was always the center of a room and he slapped a lot of backs to stay there. So? Sounds like a nice guy. You think he was all talk? Yeah. I'm trying to say that if he screwed this job up, that's on him. I still like our odds. He may have had a rep, but you're more capable than he ever was. Wow, Ellie, that's nice of you to say. Only because I've got a, a great crew by my side. Yeah, well, just remember that when we get paid. What's on your mind? Any idea what happened to Lucky? From his arm? The decay makes it hard to tell. It could be a lot of things. Torn off by something with big teeth, torn off by something with big claws, torn off by someone with a moderately sharp blade. Or maybe he just got too close to heavy machinery. Enough about Gorgon. Sure. Something on your mind? Nope, that's it. Scan uh, for C two five four seven grade rated contaminants. Uh, <laughs> Error. This unit Every is time unable I talk to, process to it. The service request. Ah! Customer, please repeat the command. Let's see. Oh, he doesn't have anything else to say. I can't believe I wanted to shake his hand. I need a shower. It makes you wonder if being a treacherous, two-timing coward is some sort of contagious disease, or if he was just born that way. Uh, is this about a Graham Bryant? Never, never meet your heroes. Felix, what are you talking about? Graham Bryant, if that is his real name. I can't trust a word that came out of his mouth. At first, I liked what Graham was doing. The iconoclasts were going to change Halcyon for the better. But then we found out Graham was behind the slaughter of Amber Heights. How can anybody so morally we lead a movement to transform? You sat the on the ship the whole time. <laughs> Dumb. <laughs> I give up. How? <laughs> uh, boss, that wasn't a trick question. I was being what's the word? Rhetorical. You'd never do something like that, would you? Slaughter a whole community of innocents? <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, I totally uh, wouldn't do that. Just ignore all of my Fallout playthroughs. And, you know, eating babies and everybody. Uh, let's see, never. Graham wasn't the one who killed all those people. He just allowed it to happen. Sure, for the right price. For both our sakes, I'm going to assume you're joking. Let's get back to it. I need to put all this ugly business with Graham behind me. Hey, Cap. Let's talk about the Gorgon job. Sure. How are you feeling about the job? Right now, I'm feeling like a canid following a trail of treats. Like I'm being misled at best. At worst, walking into a trap. Keep those eyes open, Captain. Well, that's hey. all. Okay, where's, uh... Oh, the... What? <laughs> Get back here. Hey, Captain. I got a thing I want to ask you. It's kind of big. 
Sure, what do you need? I suppose I've got a minute. Make it quick. Hold that thought, something else. Uh... I was thinking about what you said before. After we went to the Lost Hope on the Groundbreaker. I reckon you're right. I think I'm ready to stop fretting and fussing and and ask June Lei to go steady straight out. And I'm thinking of doing it here, on the ship. That's sweet. Can I help? Uh, bring her home to meet the family, huh? Bold move. I don't like strangers in my personal space. Oh gosh, do you think so? I just figured, you know, there's nowhere she can go on Groundbreaker where folks don't know her. Here she can relax. Good for you. Anyway, I can help. Okay. Uh, why are we having this conversation? Uh, and that's not going to disrupt your work. I was kind of hoping you'd offer. The thing is, I can't ask her over like, like this. I mean, look at me. I'm all covered in engine grease and I ain't showered in nigh on a week. I smell like sweat most days and, well, don't look too close at my fingernails. I was thinking, hoping, we could stop by Groundbreaker for bath supplies. Sure. Sure, Stinky. Uh, easy enough. Uh, we should head straight over. Groundbreaker's got a lot of vendors. Uh, where are you thinking? You look fine. Same as every day. Fine, whatever. I suppose I'll have to pay for this junk, too. Oh, that nice older lady in the rest and go, Miss Gladys? She seemed to know lots of things. Maybe she knows where to find fancy soap. Fancy? <laughs> they got a bed, bath, and beyond. Easy enough, we'll head straight over. I mean, only if you're not busy. Or when you're heading through Groundbreaker for something else. You don't gotta change plans on account of me. Anyhow, next time we dock in Groundbreaker, let me know. Because I want to come with. Okay, well, back to the Groundbreaker, I guess. To do this little companion quest. Destination reached. The Groundbreaker. Ah, uh, where is it? Oh. Don't bite the sun. Where is it? <laughs> Gracious. I was just sitting down for tea. My engineer's looking for some deep cleaning. Wants to impress Chief Junlei. I think I got just the thing, my dear. A few years back, Auntie Cleo's put out a home makeover kit, and I snagged a couple for myself. Deep High cleaning. High-grade shampoo <laughs> and conditioner, scrubby brush, a nice lotion, that sort of thing. I still got them, too. What's the scrubby brush for? Cleaning around your nails, sweetheart. Gets the engine grease out. Makes your hands soft. Most folk don't got the time. Or bathtubs for such. Me included. I'll let you have one on clearance. You want rosish, mock apple and cinnamon, or refurbished ship? Refurbished ship? Uh, rosish. Uh... When it comes to romance, you can't go wrong with the classics. How about mock apple and synthamon? Parvati's sweet, just like a pie. An engineer might like refurbished ship, scrubbed parts, and all that. 
You got a preference, Parvati. Oh, gosh. We never talked about what kind of smells she likes. I think pretty much every spot on Groundbreaker just smells like old socks. It comes down to what sort of intent you got. If I was looking to do a spy job over in engineering, I'd be safe with refurbished ship. Now, if I was a young thing trying to come on all precious-like, I'd probably go with Rosish. But if I was doing it for my own self, I'd pick mock apples and synthamon. I guess you could eeny miny mow it. Take your time, dear. A lady scent says a lot about her. But the <laughs> but the refurbished ship, why not? It's like grit and grime covered over with cleaner, you mean? Well, that's a smell means we're really going places. I'll just wrap that up for you, since it's for a special occasion. I'll pay for that, ma'am. Thanks for being so helpful. You're the welcome, new dear. car smell. Anytime, sweetheart. You know where to find me. Uh, let's see. I'll get some, some hack. I'll just get it full hack because I'm sure we'll be coming across more computers that have a a higher hack thing and I want to read them now what I like the gravity gun thingy I could probably just do the science weapons do more damage Do I, though? <laughs> Not really, <laughs> but I'm doing it anyway. I'll just get the... Mm. Is there anything better? I don't know what an improvised weapon is. I assume it's like the... It's probably mostly melee weapons or something. I'll just get the science weapon damage to make that, uh... Gravity gun do more damage. Oh, and talk to... You mind if I ask you a question? Like, a personal one? What's on your mind? Is it important? Uh, dumb, yes. I've been wearing this underwear for 70 years, but I was frozen the whole time. <laughs> the less you know about me, the better. <laughs> wow, uh, that's not... Can we just not ever mention that again? Is it true what you said? About being on the Hope? Uh, it's true. I woke up right before I showed up in Edgewater. If I said it was, would you believe me? Lie. Nah. You think somebody like that would just walk into a nowhere town? That's the... oh. Wow. Well, uh, welcome to Halcyon. I'm Parvati Holcomb. Parvati Holcomb. Which... You already knew. Okay, I'm bad at this. I'm Adrena Chrome. Uh, to be honest, I don't know what I'm doing either. Uh, you're doing just fine. Uh, it's nice to meet somebody friendly so, uh, so soon. Forget about it. Uh, let's just get this job done so I can get out of here. Reckon we'll have to figure it out together. I mean, if, if that's what you want. I didn't mean to presume. I'm sorry. What are your thoughts on Gorgon? Oh, so there's your soap. What do you think of the new guy, Felix? Here's your soap. Thanks, Captain. I'm gonna put these someplace safe. In her messages, June Lay said her mama used to make this dish for Monarch. Dustback casserole. Saltuna and Xenogold needle mushrooms. And then for dessert, there's a thing called, uh, sweetheart cake. 
It's made with almond paste and wax gourds. Now, there's gotta be some place in Stellar Bay that can bake a casserole. And I heard tell there's a Rizzo's town near there called Cascadia, what specializes in sweets. All right, we'll figure it out. Is this really necessary? Thanks, Captain. I know I'm asking an awful lot, but I'm sure it's gonna be worth it. Okay. Groundbreaker's safe from melting to bits now. Lots of good people can rest easy because of you. Uh, what are your thoughts on, uh, here, let's do this. What do you think of Felix? He seems like a nice boy to me. I'm glad you gave him a shot. Dumb, I don't know. Uh, he seemed really smart. <laughs> Uh, he seems like a risk. All that talk about getting into a fight with his foreman. Perception. I thought you didn't like strangers generally. That's not the answer I expected, though. Oh, I'm sure he puts a sock on Always gonna choose like the, the dumb option. I mean, sure, he's a bit rough around the edges. I bet he just needs somebody to show him a better path. You seriously think I'm the right sort to put him on the the right course in life. So you're saying I could sculpt him into an ideal minion. <laughs> I was mostly thinking uh, he'd be hired muscle. Minion. That's not exactly what I'm saying. Oh. Uh -huh. Oh. I hope this fancy soap we got is extra strength. <laughs> I'm feeling right. It's a shame about what happened to that lucky fella. Maybe finishing what he started will help put his spirit to rest. Uh, you poked around the unreliable. Ever find a record of Lucky Montoya? Not a word. And I've been sticking my nose in every one of our stately ladies' crannies, stem to stern. Oh, law. Well, that sounds untoward, don't it? Uh, that ain't, uh, that ain't what I meant. Point is, Captain... Mr. Hawthorne left all kinds of scribblings behind panels and under consoles, but ain't a lick of it mentioned Mr. Lucky. So whatever they got up to in the past must have been really extra secret. And lots of fun. Let me know if you find anything. How are you feeling about this job right now? It sure is lonely out here on the edge of the colony. Anything could happen. And ain't no one gonna come to help us. That's all about Gorgon. Good talk. Alright, now where is this? The Find sweetheart cakes by a duskback casserole. I should probably give her a weapon. I think she still has whatever I left on her <laughs> from a long time ago. Oh, she has points still. Let's see. Yeah. Auto mechanical damage received. Oh, good. That's <laughs> The robots will not hurt me. Uh, let's, oh, I forgot to... I think I got new armor. I should have. Oh, well. Here, you can wear... Oh, that's good armor, actually. You can wear whatever this is. And, uh... No, Mark II. How about... 60 compared to like 20-something. How about this thing? Sure, you can have the, the plasma launcher. Oh, 
Oh yeah, I was gonna look at my... I forgot to switch my... Yeah, 49, and then I have whatever that thing is. And I got this. This one's 53. It's not a huge improvement, so... I'll just wait to put mods on it later. Or I might find something better. Oh, ah. A sweetheart cake. Aren't those cakes just about the cutest little things you ever seen? Now well, let's see. Uh, February 4th, 2344. Law help me. Help us all. I saw one. Frothing at the mouth, barely able to string a word or two together. Walking at me as if to devour me whole. Zora was right. We are monsters. There are monsters here. Uh, we need to get out if we want to live. Cecil. You, you aren't insane. They were people once. I don't know uh, what they are now. Zora. Cecil. These crazy assholes don't know how to use a keypad. I took one of them from my clinic office and installed it on the bridge gate. 2613, be safe. Oh yeah, I gotta sell my trash. There you go. A dusk bag casserole. Where is that? Oh, it's in the... Uh... Where is that? Pal seem to be getting along. Let's see. Don't, I wonder if they have anything to anything to say bad. now that I'm... I've uh, completed their mission. Stupid. I must thank you for your excellent recommendation regarding Zora. She's most capable. Anyway, what can I do for you? How are things in Stellar Bay these days? Quite well, as a matter of fact. Zora is proving most capable. You should see the way she bounds the table and gets straight to the point. It makes for some rather exhilarating meetings. I know I had my concerns initially, but your instincts were right. Zora and her compatriots have become valuable and productive members of our community. And since we're back in the board's good graces, we've got real growth prospects to look forward to. What can I do for you? Let's see, where is Zora? Is she here? She's probably at the Iconoclast uh, place still. Maybe. She might be here somewhere. I don't know. Oh, whatever. By the stars, my poor heart. I just about pissed my jumpsuit. Sorry, didn't mean to startle you. Why would you admit that to anyone? Because there's no shame in having overactive bladder muscles, alright? It's a perfectly normal medical condition. 
Sure, for lily-livered cowards, in my medical opinion. You wow. sound like a terrible doctor. It's more of a hobby these days. See what I deal with? This place is enough to try anyone's nerves. How's that? Ever thought about leaving Stellar Bay? Only every day. But in case you haven't noticed, we don't exactly get ships on a regular basis, yours notwithstanding. And even if I did scrape together enough to buy passage out with sublight, which would mean reaching Fallbrook without getting eaten, shot, or dissolved into green goop, what then? Uh, why don't you just tell me? You forgot Stab. That's also a possibility. Well, thank you for reminding me. As if I weren't already destined for an early grave. My engineer's looking to get a dust back casserole. Uh, can you cook one of those? That was a real popular meal 10, 20 years back, before the board tucked tail and ran. These days, everybody's had a belly full of salt tuna. They all want borst, and the mushrooms, well, not many venture out of town, what with the monsters hereabouts. I can whip one up for you, but it'll cost. Here's a menu. Oh, yikes. I can't cover this much, Captain. I can cover 3,000 bits. Get started, shift. Intimidate. Uh, you take me for an idiot. No damn casserole's worth that much. Try again. Try harder. I'll get back to you on that. Whatever. You got it. I got all the ingredients. Should only take about an hour in the oven. There we are. Now, if you don't mind, I really need to take a leak. My belly's gurgling just to smell it, Mr. Raymond. Thank you so much. A pleasure to help such a charming young lady. Oh, gosh. My tongue's rumbling just smelling that casserole. Okay. Now we have... Oh, I have to give it... The dust back casserole Mr. Raymond made smells incredible. Oh, I kind of want to take a little taste. But I'm going to be strong. Now look how cute these cakes from Cascadia are. Someone even traced little hearts in them. Ah, <sighs> I guess that settles dinner. Thanks for hauling me all over creation, Captain. You're welcome. Shouldn't you get ready for Chun Li now? I hope we got enough for that everyone can get a taste. Whatever. Well, I was gonna, but then it hit me. I got this nice meal all planned out with music and a I got that soap to scrub up with, but I don't got nothing nice to wear, Captain. Let's see. Uh, you have anything in particular in mind? Perception. Do you really need to do all this, or are you just putting off the date? You're fine as you are. What do you want now? <laughs> maybe you're right and I'm, I'm stalling a bit, but maybe I also need to so as I can work up the courage. There's this place I heard of in Byzantium, Jolliker's Haberdashery. I bet I could find something nigh on perfect at a place like that. Alright, we'll swing by when we can. Guess it's a good thing we got that nav key for Byzantium. We're not going to Byzantium for clothes, Parvati. Vicar would say it's the universal equation at work. I reckon it's just that 90% of everything that ain't crap is in Byzantium. I know this is all a little crazy, Captain, but I think it's gotta be this place. I saw the lady who runs it on Aether Wave, and, well, she made everybody she dressed feel better. Confident. Alright, we'll swing by when we can. Thanks, Captain. I know I've been asking a lot. Well, we're not getting that for a while, because... You're the best. I've got side quests to do before I go there. Uh, let's see. The Ice Palace. Where's my ship? Yeah. I'm gonna grab a drink real quick.
Okay. Oh. Oh, you can manually turn on the idle camera. Cool. Wow. We've reached HRS-1084, Captain. It's emitting a very weak docking signal. I almost mislabeled it as normal etheric static. Eh. Hold on. I do have the armor. Where is it? It's this. We got the MSI Elite Armor or the Elite Trooper Armor. Block and stealth, ranged weapon skills. That's cool, I guess. Here, let me get the... The mods out. Physical armor rating plus five. Or in ray armor rating. There, toughened armor, then we've got a electro charge service now. Tech skills. Ranged weapon skills. Ranged weapon. Let's see. Geo yeah, geographic scanner. Oh, interactable highlight. Carry capacity. Walk speed. Sprint speed. I guess the carry capacity. Yeah, I don't care about the, the, what is it, whatever this is. Even though I could equip it. Oh, there, it's actually kind of matching. A little bit. Put the mods away. They're <laughs> they're uh, they're weighing me down. Restricted access, oh boy. Oh, uh, it's gonna be robots, isn't it? Robots, isn't it? What do you mean, uh oh? Spaghetti -o. Not the robots. Uh, don't worry, I got the upgraded armor. I'll be good. Robots. Oh no. I'm gonna fuck him up.
Another plasma launcher. Actually, is that... to access memory cartridge error terminal power below five percent terminal in maintenance mode restore power to okay i have to restore the power before i can see that Mind your head. I was. No. no. It's all sealed. But this is all, yeah. Sure are a lot of charging automax. What are the chances they're friendly? Oh no. <laughs> oh. Okay. Engineering section terminal. Generator status active. Generator mode maintenance 2% output. Uh, maintenance mode is active. Uh, minimal functions available. Modify generator mode normal. Flush. <laughs> Updating generator mode to normal. Disabling emergency lights. Activating facility lights. Activating security protocols. Activating air. Recyclers, new laboratory sent optional select option selected. Flushing toilets. Error. Flushing toilets. See maintenance logs for details. <laughs> maintenance logs. Active military grade. Invade countries too. <laughs> Just get a, a one dollar pair of earbuds. Let's see. Critical issues. Issue one. A toilet in the maintenance barracks does not flush. Replacement part ordered 1243 days ago. Non-critical issues. 
Wait, <laughs> it's a critical issue, is the toilet? Uh, non-critical. Uh, sensors indicate Alta Verde gas is leaking from storage tanks. Alta Verde gas... Fishy Vitae? <laughs> Not Alta Verde, but Alta Vitae? Vit I don't know how you say that. Gas is toxic to humans. I got the lo-fi beats to be poor too. No. Admin override priority set to non-critical management does not utilize the Alta Vitae gas tank storage room. Uh, issue two. Sensors detect that the new laboratory sent air freshener is running low. Repair toilets. Error work order already exists. The existing work order was open 991 days ago, and that was that lost access 991 days ago. Captain, I've been attempting to contact you with urgent news. However, communicational functionality was impaired due to. Oh, I'm broke too. <laughs> What's going on, Ada? A UDL vessel has been tracking our position and just recently docked with the station. They are patching into the station's transmission lines now. I cannot stop. I've been waiting for this day since we tagged your ship. And wow, that's some cool company. armor. So glad we finally have this opportunity. My ship is docked with 1084. There's no escape. Okay, what do you want? I think you've got the wrong guy. Cut transmission. You've been poking your nose into restricted locations. This makes my superiors unhappy. I could peel your ship open like a can of Boris. But I'm in a sporting mood. A bribe. Uh, would a cut of the profits change your mind, say, 3579 bits? Intimidate. You're about to make an enemy of sublight, trust me. Uh, you don't want that. Lie 65. Uh, what was that? You want me to hit this big self-destruct button? I didn't say that. How did you gain access to that system? Stop it at once. Hit random key. Welcome to hell, Commander. Did you... Did you hit it yet? <laughs> What's happening in there? I don't know who you are, but I have nothing to gain by risking my hide against a lunatic. Commander out. The UDL gunship is undocking from the station. They appear to be departing into space. Nice. Oh, I've cool. never been great at de-escalation. Oh, cool. Well, that'd probably just been combat if I... <laughs> a bunch of, like, uh... Soldiers in here to fight. Probably. Can I do anything with this? No. Okay, this is back up. Oh. Okay, this thing was, uh... <laughs> I thought this thing might be better against robots because it did shock damage, but... Uh... Well, let me... But, uh, I guess not. Well, let me... I guess I'll have to upgrade the... The shock cannon. I guess it's good for stunning them. Oh, uh.
A shipping label. One case of UDL concussive mines to HRS uh, 1084. Signed by Chief of Security Ida Kimball. Warning. Contents may have shifted in transit. Warranty is void. On any and all detonation detonated mines regardless of cause. Tampering with uh, disabling or destroying mines is a fireable offense. Mines are not a company authorized decoration a pet or sporting equipment mines are not suitable for ingestion mines are not eligible for any recycling promotion a do not purposely purposefully stand sit or recline on mines mines are not your friend UDL claims no liability for actions taken or not taken by mines. UDL recognizes that you could have chosen any remote explosives provider. Your commitment guarantees product quality and safety for many shipments to come. Thank you and have a pleasant detonation. Quality and safety not guaranteed. <laughs> Let's see. Messages. From redacted subject, closing down. Uh, from redacted to security, uh, station security all. Subject closing down. A transport vessel has been dispatched to HRS 1084. I have taken the liberty of upgrading the sensitive materials containment rating of the asset, which means you are permitted to leave with company-branded consumables, uh, but all personal effects must be left behind. Do not interfere with the tanks. A cleanup crew will dispose of all exhausted assets in time. Anyone who requires ethical correction therapy can speak to the Spacer Care Approved Alien List. Return to Personal Files. Note on Guthrie J. James is gone and he never said goodbye. I keep telling myself that he wanted me to remember him as he was outside of the tank. Or maybe he was just... Uh, bad at goodbyes. When I saw what was left of him, I wanted to airlock everyone who let it happen. You could have said something, James. We were never short on time. Nothing's keeping me here now. The bits aren't worth it. I've requested a transfer. I get the impression I'm not the only one. Note on Chief Kimball. Kimball thinks we're... Uh, there will be trouble once the docks run out of warm bodies. If James was around, I know he'd set her straight. Now that he's gone, maybe I could use some convincing too. She showed up next to my bunk last night. Said that if anything happened to her, her password was her daughter's name. Hope it never comes to that. Encode keycard. Electrical control room keycard. Ah, oh, this was up here. I think this is broken. Yeah. Watch your step. Ah, oh, there's the electrical control room. Security routines. 
UDL Electro Floor 3000 is online. Disengage checkpoint security. Personal files. Log Mama Bear. Kimball came by asking if any of the docks had been around. I told her what I know. It's been quiet. Just ask Alpha. She walked off with a spring in her step. Okay, weird. Uh, then she relinquished a UDL Electrofloor 3000 for my checkpoint. And a crate of concussion mines. I guess she didn't believe me. Is she preparing for war? She's acting like she knows something the rest of us don't. Seems especially uncomfortable around the docks. There's a robot. They're still alive. Examine. Let's uh, look around first. Oh, also examine. Tank 3 log. Subject, Dr. James Guthrie. Current status alive. Extremely unstable condition status setting. Active. Uh, note, subject will need extensive nuclein resequencing for any chance of viable extraction. I'm so sorry it ended up like this, James. We will come back for you uh, all and fix this. I swear it. Please forgive us, Dr. Ava Cartrand and Dr. Lorelei Fall. Holding take one. Subject, Dr. Charles McNulty. Uh, current status alive. Unstable condition, status setting active. Uh, note subject should not be revived until a method for stabilizing his condition is found. In gratitude, Dr. Ava Cartran, Lorelei Fall, James Guthrie, Claire Persol. 
Where's the... Oh, there it is. Holding tank 2. Uh, Dr. Claire Parcel. Condition alive, unstable condition. Status active. Subject condition is dire. Make sure uh, resuscit resuscitation devices are on hand upon revival. Uh, please hold on, Claire. We're, we've almost had it this time. I swear, we'll bring you back. With love. Ava Karshrand. Thor Lifefall, James Guthrie. Wait, do I still get the debuff even if they're dead? No, okay. When they're dead, they don't they don't count. Okay, security... Oh, let's see. It's been 1,270 days since last login. Uh, security routines. Modify system access protocols. Hack, unlock personal quarters. Uh, project summary. Executive Research Focus Group E177J for a uh, purpose... Biological hybridization and assimilation strategies. Active team members Cartrand uh, E. Fallil. Uh, inactive team members Guthrie, McNulty, Purcell, Ryle. Uh, goal further the chimeric sciences via the targeted modification of human nuclea. Nuclein? Uh, use using strands obtained from Halcyon native fauna. Uh, classification wrapped it on. Messages from redacted subject station morale to lab ten eighty four. It has come to my attention that a culture of distrust has soured relations between HRS 1084's research staff and security personnel. Many of you have submitted requests for early dismissal. Uh, to the research staff, the importance of your work uh, supersedes any interpersonal conflict. Uh, to our security personnel, there will be no early dismissal. You will also notice that your employment contract has no set end date. We can enjoy a discussion of morale and its impact on success metrics once the question of humanity's place in the Halcyon colony is answered. In the meantime, get back to work. Logs. Charlie. We almost lost Charlie. It was a runaway uh, resequencing shift. Once it started, it kept going, spreading beyond the isolated tissue to a full-blown systemic infiltration. He said it was like every organ was itchy. I told him we'd ice him, freeze him until we could work out how to reverse what had gone wrong. Claire... We had to put Claire on ice today. She and the other others drew straws. Claire lost. The change was slower this time. At first, the resequence stayed within normal parameters, but then it spread again, just like with Charlie. Tomorrow, I'm reaching out to my handler directly. I ha I need some answers. I wonder how Guthrie's doing. I heard symphony music from under his door. 
James. The log is being entered by Dr. Fowl. I have to prescribe a Dr. Cartrand. Uh, enough sedatives to knock out a primal. Yesterday morning, Dr. Guthrie and I drew straws to decide which of us would be the next test subject. He pulled the short one. Uh, no new developments. After all our sacrifices, it still feels like we're miles away from a breakthrough. Eva hasn't uh, forgiven herself for the losses. Maybe some time away from HRS 1084 will clear her mind. The board confirmed receipt of my report and transmitted our recall notice. We're just awaiting transport. I wish we could take some time away from the project to clear our heads, but we're out. Uh, we're not even close to that point. Access outbound calm transcript. Transmission be begins. Uh, Cartron. Uh, is anyone listening to this frequency? Redacted. Who is this? Cartrand. I'm the project lead on 1084. I wanted... Redacted. Uh, Station 1084. You have orders to maintain wireless, si uh, wireless silence until a mission end state is achieved. Cartrand. Uh, executive override password. Antivulian. Redacted. Audible sigh. What can I do for you, doctor? Cartron, the board told me they would deliver my queries about our transcription problem on the Cornelius Vanderbilt. Uh, where are we with that? Redacted, I'm afraid I can't provide any update status at this time, Doctor. Cartron, uh, the assault cruiser should have arrived on Earth by now. My query was addressed to the... Chimeral Research Department at George de Hevsey Institute on Budapest, in Budapest. Uh, redacted. One of my associates will reach out when we have an update. Cartrand. Uh, when? When? Aren't you in contact with the assault cruiser? What happened out there? Redacted. Station 1084. Minus a uh, misuse of this channel is a fireable offense. As is abusing your executive override, save in cases of emergency. Cartrand, damn it. This, this, an emergent. Transmission ends. Uh, executive override for user Cartrand E. Disconnected. Duration indefinite. Anything else? Oh, I still need to use this. Oh, there was a thing I needed to do on that. Security. Wait. Oh, modify system access protocols. Happen location was Mandium. Uh, insert sublight overwrite cartridge. Job done. We can go home to the ship, right? I've been missing Ada fierce. Hold on, Tick. Don't we know Chartran from Cascadia? Okay, what's that all I? All I needed to do here. Yes. Turn to Lily. Redacted, 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 redacted. It's like reading in the SCP wiki. Captain. I wish to offer my commendations for convincing the UDL's gunship to leave HRS-1084. 
I did not favor the idea of being stripped and sold for parts. Destination reached. The Groundbreaker. Finally, a base of our own. Soon we'll have eyes on every corner of the system. Well done, Captain. Uh, you'll also find some Automech salvage awaiting new orders. The base had scientists in suspension tanks. Some might still be alive. I heard about that. While my lawyers scratch their heads wondering how we deal with human salvage, I'm leaving the researchers in hibernation. Aside from the automated security, did you meet any resistance at the station? A ULD gunship buzzed the station, but I convinced them to back off. <sighs> I knew it. They've been shadowing us since Monarch, maybe even longer. I've been less than honest with you. Your assignment you don't say. strictly about the salvage business. You might have figured that out already. Perception. Rare gas and, and a lab that tested it on people uh, couldn't have been a coincidence. You have an eye for patterns. Good. We need more contractors like you. After the Monarch job, I started connecting the dots. I didn't like the picture. Then what we found at Station 1084 confirmed my fears. You and I have stumbled onto something big. Something none of us were meant to know. The bad news, I take it. The truth about the human tailbone... Now you had my interest, now you... <laughs> you had my interest, now you have my attention. Glad to know it, Captain. Ask yourself why a skeleton crew was studying that Alta Vitae gas in secret. Ask yourself why stockpiles were hidden on a planet full of monsters. I'm guessing you have an idea. Maybe they were just hiding expensive research from pi pirates like Sublight. Before we go any further, I want you to keep an open mind. Can you do that for me, Captain? I can do that. I guess that depends on what we're talking about. You call that an open mind? All right, here goes. Aliens. I'm talking about aliens. <laughs> aliens. They're the ones responsible <laughs> for the deaths at 1084, and who knows what else. We have to put a stop. We to are this. gay reptoid space alien lovers. Aliens? Aliens? Really? Say nothing. Aliens. I'm saying it's aliens. I'm not asking you to like it. I'm not even asking you to believe it. But I need to act on this threat to the colony, and I can't do it alone. Well, at least she doesn't expect us to believe it. This doesn't feel at all right, Captain. The crew is skeptical. That's good. I don't want you walking into the unknown with blindfolds on. I assume you have questions? A few... This is completely insane. Skip to the part where I get paid. I don't care about... <laughs> care what hallucinogens you're on. 
A few. If we're gonna see this through, I'll need your trust and commitment. Now's the time for setting doubts aside. When you say aliens, what are you talking about here? Enough. Tell me what needs to be done. I really don't know what to make of this. Conspiracy. One carried out with the help of human collaborators, assuming they haven't all been replaced. This is an invasion of our very cells. That damned gas is mixing our nuclein with Halcyon biology to twist us, change us. Make us more like those monsters on Monarch. <laughs> They're putting chemicals in the water to, <laughs> to turn us gay. I haven't seen any evidence of aliens. I joined Sublight so I could do crimes, not save humanity. The little green bastards must pay. <laughs> Terrific. That go-getter initiative will carry you far in Sublight. How do you know I'm not an alien spy on a mission to silence you? Enough. Tell me what needs to be done. I really don't know what to make of this. Sharing my findings took a calculated risk. If you were a spy, I doubt you'd even realize it. Only your cells would know. Cross your eyes. <laughs> we're coming to get you, Lilia. <laughs> <laughs> Tobias. Get my knife. The big one. That was a joke. Ha ha. We each get one. Now, back to business. Enough. Tell me what needs to be done. Dr. Chartrand is the crooked psychopath behind the gas experiments. She sold out her species. Now I need you to put a bullet through her skull. Okay. Uh, sounds messy. But I'll take the job. Murder isn't covered under my contractor... Uh, employment agreement. Why does Dr. Chartrand uh, need to die? Sure. Straight to business, huh, Captain? <laughs> this key card will get you through the front door of her Byzantium estate. Don't ask how I got it. You might not like the answer. By now, the other side knows what you're doing. Don't trust anything Chartrand says. She's compromised down to the bone. Maybe even deeper than that. Okay. Okay, that's on. Bismandium as well. Where's this one? So, things to do on. Skellia. I don't know which one is. The one you're supposed to do first. Uh, let's see. Skellia is one of the largest asteroids orbiting Halcyon. The largest in a grouping of rocks known as the Carib Caribidus Cluster. Hephaestus Mining uh, once claimed the asteroid, but its prospecting site was abandoned decades ago. Uh, three. I don't think it is like a recommended... Thing. I'll just go here. Oh, I've, I've been here actually. Destination reached. Scylla. I forgot about that. Yeah, I've already explored this. Uh, pheromone glands and take a Max. I get to bring hey, you got a minute? Max here. What? Oh. Hey, boss. Got a hypothetical for you? You got a friend. See? Somebody you knew when you were growing up. You were close. Then, one day, they up and vanished. Five years go by, they send you a message out of the Aether. What's going through your head? Are you going somewhere with this? That's cute, Felix. What's her name? Shock and disbelief. Seeing how most of my friends are still on Earth. <laughs> you got the wrong idea, boss. It ain't like that guy by the name of Clyde Harlow. He was an old friend of mine. Honestly, he was probably my first and longest friend. I just heard from him. He says he wants to talk to me. He says it's urgent. 
Uh, this is obviously important to you. Let's go. Another time, Felix. We've got work to do. Sure. Figured I should let you know, seeing as we're on Scylla and all. Clyde's got a base on the other side of this rock. I appreciate this, boss. I know you're going out of your way for me. Uh, Trim to the base. Sure. So are they both here? Let's... Uh, Nioka needs me to collect those. Okay, I have three different... Yeah, three different uh, quests here. It's Pismantium. This is on... Yeah, it is on Skellia. Well, I'll bring Max and... Uh, Felix here. Oh, uh, I hit the wrong button. Uh, now I need to go back. <laughs> no... Well, I'm back into the ship. Damn loading screens. Also, I should probably switch my weapons back. What else did I have? I'll use that. Okay, this time... I'm hitting the correct button. You were too encumbered... Oh, I get the... <laughs> I guess if I don't have companions, I don't get the... Uh, the bonus from their carry weight, so... <laughs> Troopers. Okay. Oh. Okay, that's too high up. I'll go to this one first. I think they don't. Those two don't have any uh, armor or or weapons, so it's, it's pretty much just me here. An axe. Oh, Captain's Log Independent Freighter Getaway Sticks. I wanted to retire on Groundbreaker. Uh, one more job, I told myself. Never had any trouble with outlaws until now. I told them what we're hauling, but they shut off comms and opened fire again. Uh, they're shooting to wound. 
It's only a matter of time before this bird falls out of the sky. So I'm setting her down in hopes that we can broker some agreeable terms of surrender. Even if it means my head, at least the crew gets a fighting chance. I can't shake the feeling that they were ready for me, like they knew exactly what route I'd take. What a way to end a career. Well, what's in here? Let's... Why? Get in. Ah, oh, there's the door. That's for uh, Nioka's uh, quest. I'll do that. Uh, I should probably be with Nioka here. Let me do the other ones. What's this? Take Max to the Hermit. There's... Ah, there it is. Damn it. The Hermit's Lodge. What have the solar winds deposited on my doorstep now? Just more dirt and debris? Or do you actually believe you are here seeking the truth? I must admit, I tire of the truth seekers. Mayhaps you're here to rob me? That would be so much more exciting. Uh, we're here to get this book translated. Max? That depends. Who are you? Ah, uh, yeah. We're here to rob you. What do you got? We've been told this was once yours. I believe the knowledge within here contains the answers I seek. Answers that will free men's minds from toil. I can translate it, but it won't do you any good. I can see you are a man in a hurry. And the insights in that book would take you years of study to fully comprehend. I have spent my life in contemplation. I believe my mind is prepared to receive the truth. Look, can we just move this along here, please? Uh, hermit lady, enough talk. How about you throw Max uh, here a bone? We've got a long way to help Max uh, get some peace. Is there anything you can do to help? There is one way that can speed up the process. It involves a combination of several ingredients, some of which can be fatal. It is not for the faint of heart or the unprepared. <laughs> My potions are too strong for you, traveler. What happens if you're unprepared? Well, Max just said he was prepared, didn't he? When you say ingredients, you mean drugs, right? Drugs. A crass way to put it, but yes. Chemicals that can expand or destroy the participant's consciousness. What happens if you're unprepared? Well, he said he was prepared, didn't he? But is he truly? <laughs> How did you find me? This is the, this is the potion talk. seller. My potions. I don't know what happened to him, My potions we, are too strong for you, son. traveler. But we had a good reason. Or maybe not. In hindsight, we may have acted rashly. 
Regardless, uh, Max sees the error of his ways and is committed to achieving enlightenment. We have a tendency to act rashly uh, when people cross us, kind of like you're doing now. Oh, come on. You're not going to hold that against him, are you? One little murder. <laughs> Do you believe that flippancy will aid you in your endeavor to convince me? No. I do not believe your vicar is suitable for my tutelage. Nor are you. Persuade. Sandy. Max has spent his life trying to overcome his violent tendencies. Uh, you are his last resort. Oh, come on. We've come all this way. I think these bits will change your mind, huh? Well, uh, we didn't want to partake in your stupid ritual anyway. Let's go. Okay, let's give it a whirl. Worst that can happen is he's driven insane. A small price, and a risk I am more than willing to take. I'm committed, no matter the cost. No matter the cost? It's <laughs> just drugs, Max. We ain't making you walk in front of a firing squad. I'm in. I'm committed to taking as many drugs as possible, so count me in as well. <laughs> All right. Head on into the About to take the the LSD. The no, what is it? The the DDT. The what whatever the stuff Alex Jones takes to see the to see the clockwork elves. DM DMT, that's it. Gonna gonna take this DMT here. <laughs> Enough LSD to, to bring down a bull elephant. Did you know they found out the, uh, the way that, that apparently the, the amount of drugs, uh, for a human and, or the amount of LSD for a, a human and an elephant are the same, uh, to get like super fucked up. And yes, they gave LSD to, to an elephant. Uh, thinking that it would be, uh, what do you call it? Like, they would need, like, a shit ton of it, and it just, like, killed it immediately. It's fucked up. Yeah, the government has done some weird stuff with LSD. It probably still does. You've been fighting against the world since before you <laughs> Is this what Alex Jones sees when he takes the DMT? It's no wonder he's insane. Mother. You're dead. You can't be here. I knew this was too good to be true. These are just cheap hallucinogens that have... What's happening to my voice? Does my voice sound weird to you? And what's so good. Here's the. What's wrong, Max? Can't think straight. Now you know how I feel. Uh, wait, forget I said that. <laughs> oh my God! It's the smoking fentanyl, laced cereal milk. I see God. <laughs> what's wrong, Max? Can't. Uh... Your mother's right, Max. We should listen to her. Oh, they're all having the same. If she's a hallucination, why am I seeing her too? Right, that the first time, Max. This is all bullshit. Don't fall for it. Attack. See what happens if you hit her. Leave conversation. We are obviously the victims of a tasteless joke being perpetuated. Uh, perpetuated. I mean. We're being made fools of, aren't we? When I get out of here, I'm going to show that hermit what you get for messing with me. Maximilian, always ready to give up, to lash out, always searching for answers, but always in the wrong place, never looking inside himself. You look inside yourself all the time, Max, but with your head buried up your posterior. Uh, we came all this way, we ought to at least hear her out. Okay, Vision Mom, how about giving us answers instead of hollow platitudes? Don't listen to this crap, Max, you're right, this is all a sick joke. 
and platitudes from a figment. <laughs> figment. Of my imagination, no less. Who said I wasn't a figment of your mind? But you know the truth. You don't need someone else to tell you. You've always known it. Everyone knows it. They just won't see it. We're overwhelmed with stories from our earliest days. The stories others sell us, and the stories we tell ourselves. These stories are how we try to make sense of our lives, but they are not real, are they? They're just stories. You need to drop your story and see the truth. I got your story right here. I'm Vicar Max. I'm uptight. I love the church, and I'm a stooge for the board. And I don't understand that Felix is a genius. How about we cut to the chase here, lady? Uh, figment? Dumb, yeah. Uh, but seeing the truth, that's, um, hard. Sh uh, shut this crap down, Max. Uh, you don't need this. Attack, see what happens if you... Dumb. You want me to give up my... my discipline? My... control? I hope I can't. I can't. I, without order, there is chaos. You need to love the chaos, Maximilian. Let it envelop you. Take you where it will. Besides, you really have no choice anyway. No, that's not true. The basis of everything is order, not chaos. It's true, I know it is. So did you. Why are you denying it? Before you died, the plan made you happy. No, it didn't. I made myself happy. There's nothing holding you back but you. If you can't understand that, you will never understand anything. Goodbye, Maximilian. This whole thing, it's... It's... It's just a farce, right? Just... Just my own brain working against me? You couldn't be more right. Hello. Oh god, it's... <laughs> it's him. What? Who, why do you look like me? Are you me? Not really. I'm who you think you are. I am disciplined. Controlled. I have no doubts. And I don't exist. Yet you have judged yourself against me your whole life. Why? Why do you berate yourself for not being me? Yeah, Max. Why do you do that? Uh, quiet feelings. Yeah, Max. Why do you do that? <laughs> Dumb. I don't get half of what you're saying, but you're insulting my friend, and he's a stand-up guy. I uh, don't know what to say. Thank you, Captain. But I just—I don't know. Is it wrong to try to be a gooder, better person than I am? <laughs> but that's not He's right. facing his demons. You're desperately trying to find a story to organize reality in your head. A story to control everything. A new story of the happy you. The contented you. Me. That's not... Uh, it can't be like that. I've only been searching for the answer to the equation. No, not the, not the semen so demon. Uh, semen is is another kind of milk. By removing the need to make any decision, to have your life completely controlled, the illusion of certainty. Your obsession allowed you to avoid the real question. Who are you? I'm Max. Me! I'm real. You can't convince me otherwise. Please don't convince me I'm not. Dumb. So, I'm not real? That's a relief. Being real is tough. Yeah, that's Ironic, <laughs> same. Lack of introspection means you're actually closer to the truth than your friend Max is. Your individual self is what's not real. It is simply a concept. By the architect. Architect? How could I have believed in an architect? That's ridiculous. 
I must be losing my mind completely. What you're saying almost makes sense. We exist inside our thoughts, thinking we're in control. That's it, isn't it? We have no control over anything. It's all lies. How could I not have seen this? But how do we escape our... ourselves? Oh no. You're doing great, Max. Uh, do you think the hermit would mind if I throw up in the corner, leave conversation? I'm confused and nauseous, but mostly nauseous. Leave conversation. The hermit was right. This has driven me mad. I see you're back with us. Feared we lost you there. Never seen anyone pass out yet stay upright before. What happened? Thankfully, all that talking and arguing uh, ruined my high. Ruined? You seem to be having quite the time. Though I must admit I was a bit concerned when you stripped naked and tried to eat your clothes. <laughs> oh no. I meant to do that. I was joking. You passed out fairly early in the process. Well before I realized what an ignorant fool I've been. Everything is perfect. I'm glad you found the answers you were looking for, Max. You're either still hallucinating or you've gone insane. Really, have you looked around the colony lately? In a way. Perhaps it's more accurate to say I was asking the wrong <laughs> Like questions. a real goat. I understand so much more now. I see it all. All there is to be experienced, to be lived. Of course there is pain and loss, but the suffering is caused by trying to control reality. Clinging to the way you want things to be, not enjoying the way they are. Uh, there's something to that. You seem happy, or at least not angry. I am content. I've finally found what I was looking for, even though I was looking for the wrong thing. Anything for a friend. Finished a companion's questline. Oh, okay. This, uh, that's stealing. Cool. So, have you found your answers? Not so much found as finally listened. Yes, it is quite the convoluted maze we build for ourselves. Um, there's a maze? Where? I love mazes. <laughs> Existence is simpler with your eyes closed. It takes courage to open them. <laughs> I love maces. <laughs> I like this one. <laughs> a... self, untroubled by Always have to thoughts. go with the the dumb option. I'm tired of all the talking. We're leaving. We should go. I forgot they have a... they have a level I can put into them. Toss ball weapon damage. Get some armor is probably... oh just health. There, there you go. What do you do? Uh, Max's ability bypasses some of the target's armor rating. Trick shot ignores 50% armor. That's probably good. 
what are their last things? Uh, if an enemy hits you, dropping you to low health, Max will taunt nearby enemies to focus their attacks on them instead. On team and set, uh, this only works if Max is already fighting, still conscious, and able to be attacked by the enemy. Max will taunt enemies within 20 meters uh, when you drop below 25% health. When his companion is downed in combat, they heal back some health and continue fighting. This effect has a long cooldown, 15 minutes. Okay. When a companion takes damage, they gain some armor for a short time. This effect stacks up to three times. How about effects inflicted as companion ability last longer? Duration of status effects inflicted by companion ability. Okay. What does Felix do? Felix deals increased damage to anyone who has a negative reputation with you, which is higher than their positive reputation. And then the same thing, so okay. Um, pick Felix to meet uh, Arlo. Where's this at? I cannot fast travel. Ah. Not the robots. Uh. Bye. Set on the ship, I thought it was on Skellion. Oh, it's just on the landing pad. Okay. The King of Moon hats. Oh, it's making me. Why is it making me go inside? Bring Felix to meet. Harlow. Felix was to meet Harlow in person. Travel to his landing pad on Skellia. Have him. Oh, uh, it might be a separate area. Oh, yeah, it is. Oh, did it? Oh, I think it... It switched my companions again. Yeah, who's with me? Oh no, they're they're good. Okay. A new area. It's the borscht. for something where do you think you're going uh felix millstones with me clyde harlow is expecting us 
Um, easy big guy. I'm just looking around. Intimidate. Through you, if you push me. <laughs> hey, nice form. Good delivery, too. You looking to join Captain Harlow's crew, huh? All right, go on through. Got my sights on you. Uh, logs. Uh, acquisition logs. Independent freighter Cat's Meow. Hull contraband pharmaceuticals. Summary. Brought down salvaged cargo ransomed crew. Uh, independent freighter Getaway Sticks. Hull subversive literature. Summary. Brought down salvaged cargo crew joined up. Uh, freighter... Uh, werewolf. Hull engine parts. Summary. Brought down salvaged cargo crew jettisoned in escape pod. As usual, we are. Uh, we were able to intercept these ships despite how cleverly they masked their heat signatures. Our patron pulled through again with that tracking data. I don't know how they get their hands on it, but we're in no position to refuse charity. Memo. Crew. I'm beginning to wonder about our patron. Uh, when we opened up our scanners and sniffed the system for our best, our latest wildcat, we picked up a signal from a corporate freighter nearby. It was hauling ten times more cargo than our target. No sooner did we scan it than a message came through ordering us to go after the wildcat instead. Something doesn't add up. Until I get answers, stay skeptical, Harlow. What about last entry? Pirate Code. Rule 1. Harlow's the boss. Rule 2. Fuck the board. Rule 3. Why are you still reading, pig? Wake up. If you're seeing this, the board already owns you. Uh, you went looking for the rules. Why? Because life's a game to you. Maybe you like being played. You guzzle down that sense of security, like it's purpleberry-flavored opium. Fuck rules, and fuck terminals. It's not a revolution if you're using the weapon they raised against us time and time again. Uh, from the front lines of the riots to the corporate sit-ins and error document pirates code has exceeded character limit. <laughs> Oh no, it's Twitter. <laughs> Gotta pay eight dollars for the longer tweets. I mean zeets. If the board comes after us, we'll be ready. <laughs> Not the zeets. Hey. The zits. Well, hey there, Hullhead. Clawed your way out of the groundbreaker at long last? Uh-huh. Oh, sorry, were you expecting me to say something? Maybe a long time no see, or a you've aged, old man. Well, this is awkward. I'll just leave you two to work this out. No, it's fine, I'll do my own introductions. Adrena Crow. Arlo? Arlo? Adrenochrome. Your captain has a sense of humor, Felix. Good. There's a time and place for humor. So, you took Felix on your way. Zitz. Zitz. Good. Kid always needed a place to belong. Felix will always have a place in this crew. He's family to us now. Hear that, Clyde? I've been making something out of myself. 
so long as you haven't been making a fool of yourself. I'm sure Felix has no end of stories to tell of your exploits together. I look forward to catching up with the boy. Uh, tell me why we're here. How long is that going to take? Uh, we've got places to be. I'm working on something. Something big. Something the likes of which Halcyon has never seen. And I want Felix to be a part of my initiative. I'm fulfilling a promise I made to the boy. That one day, he and I would change the colony together. That day has finally arrived. Easy there, Clyde. No one said nothing about throwing in with you. In case you didn't notice, I'm pretty happy where I am. I'm not asking you to walk away from your captain, Felix, but neither should you allow yourself to be controlled by fear. Change is not to be feared. I brought you here because I want to know where Felix's loyalties lie. When the day of our revolution comes, I want to know that I can rely on him. You want to put him through a test? Then allow me to enlighten you. Felix is loyal to me. You expect me to just hand over my own crew? Go fuck yourself. Uh, good luck. He's at least reliable. The least reliable crew on a ship literally called the Unreliable. Damn. He's loyal to me. I understand that Felix is part of your crew. At least for now. If the thought of losing him troubles you, then understand that you're helping him solve a problem for an old friend. I want you to deal with a traitor for me. Name's Trask. Kill him and bring me proof of his death. His ring should do nicely. Now what did this Trask do to deserve death? You can't control your own people, Harlow. Uh, let's pretend I take care of your problem. What happens after that? Ratted us out to the board. He's been an informant. Has been for years. When he realized I was onto him, he and his little cadre mutinied. Killed five of my own and tucked tail. I don't know where he's hiding, but his wife might. Rosanna. Lives on the Groundbreaker, last I checked. Rosanna knows my crew by name and face, but you're a stranger to her. She'll talk to you. Alright, we'll take care of it. There's more to this than you're letting on. What do you think, Felix? You think so? Maybe we should have a word with Trask. Get his side of the story first. You'd be wasting your breath bandying words with that traitor. But if it makes you feel better, by all means. Remember, I want proof. Bring me his ring. I don't care if the hand's still attached. Here, my token. Think of this as my personal signature. Anyone who knows me by my works will know me by this token. How well do you know Felix? Well enough. It's been a few years, but I still remember a thing or two. You had a chip on your shoulder. You'd argue over anything and you'd never back down. What do you mean, had? And for the record, you never could admit when you lost an argument. You see what I had to deal with? There's something I'd like to ask Let's you. hear it. You said you were working on something big. A revolution is the work of a lifetime, Captain. I've spent my life preparing for the day of Halcyon's reckoning. Everything you see around you is the result of that preparation. A base of operations, loyal soldiers, freedom from the board's oversight. It sounds like you've got some plans to overthrow the board. Uh, so, you're a band of outlaws living on the edge of an asteroid, some revolution. Uh, what makes you think you're free? It's not all revolutions involve bloodshed and fire, Captain. The purest act of rebellion is to live according to one's own means, independent of any masters. One day, when the board is weak and Halcyon vulnerable, we may claim a piece of this system for ourselves. Until then, we bide our time. Sounds like you got some plans over through the board. Hardly. The board is rotting from the inside. Tomorrow, next year, a generation from now, eventually, the board will fall to pieces. Entropy is the natural state of the universe, Captain. All systems inevitably dissolve. When that day comes to Halcyon, we will be ready. That was simultaneously the least scientific and most pompous statement I've heard in ages. Well done, Mr. Harlow. A vicar? I admit, I never imagined a man of the cloth living the adventurer's life. You do keep some interesting company. 
Was there anything else? Uh, what makes you think you're free? The skies around Scylla are curiously absent of patrol ships. It's almost as if the board's sphere of influence is shrinking. Besides, our facility is well armed and located on defensible terrain. If the board tries to lay siege to us, we'll make them pay. Change the subject. Some okay. Oh, it's just like this tiny little, little area. Let me sell my garbage. Oh yeah, I still need to go hunt the, the things with, uh, Nioka. Before I leave Skellia. Destination reached. Scylla. Scylla. Skellia, I think that's the... What do you call it? That's the, uh... The islands from the Witcher. That's the Oh no, they respawned. Oh. Away. Not the robots. I'm warmed up now. Oh, it's laying
my queen ain't gonna go down easy. I can't wait. What's up? Uh, these glands are gross. Take them, please. Outstanding. These ought to be enough. Let's get back to Monarch. There's an old base I used to call home. I can get us in the door, but we'll have to shoot our way through the Queen's brood to get to the center. We'll set the bait there. Password to the door is Charon. Uh, what's Charon? Hayes' idea. Clara, Hayes, Anders, Rebecca, Opal, Nioka. Charon. He said it was some old myth, something about death and all the things we killed. The rest of us just thought it sounded cool, so here we are. Remind me, what's this base again? It's an old cave system we tried to turn into an encampment. You'll see when we get there. Uh, it's about time we're gonna to kill a Manta Queen. Fucking right we are. Let's go. Here we go. I haven't set foot in here since. Well, I'm ready. Yeah, right? Sure. Mantis or feeding grounds, please. Glands. Oh. 
Well, this is the spot. You know, I thought I'd be angry. I thought I'd storm in here in a rage and exterminate all these bugs and everything would be all right in the end. But I ain't. I'm mostly just empty. A little sad, maybe. The first night Hayes and I spent in here, we knew it was home. It's safe. It's got a nice chill to it. But mostly, it doesn't stink of sulfur. I'm with you there. I hate that smell. You know, I'd feel a bit uh, different uh, when we walked in. It did feel a bit different. Let her talk. Monarch folks often joke about it. Not because of the smell or the grittiness it leaves in your throat. Not because of the headaches or the coughing. It's because there's no escaping it. It's life here, and there ain't anything you can do about it. But here... Somehow the sulfur never made it. The nights we spent in here felt like vacations. So we started building. Uh, you built all this? This base? I thought uh, you'd taken over someone else's abandoned property. Let her talk. We hauled in steel. Hired sublight folk to help. That's how we met Anders and Opal. They stuck around after our contract was up. Opal liked camping. Anders liked chasing her tail. Four of us for a while. Scraping together what bits we could to build our home. Then came Rebecca, a sawbones out of the Cascadia survivors, who took a kindness to Hayes. And Clara, her little sister. I'll admit I wasn't keen on taking her on at first. But for a teenager, she was surprisingly capable. A teenager out here in the monarch wilderness? Must have been a brave kid. You got a young girl killed? <laughs> Let her talk. She had a head for numbers, helped us trade hides for food and materials, negotiated contracts, turned out to be mighty useful. Clara, Hayes, Anders, Rebecca, Opal, and me. Six folks, one name, one family, Charon. Despite Monarch trying to kill us day in and day out, we managed to belong. I'm sorry they aren't here to see us kick some Manta ass. Uh, let's do this. Uh, tell me what... Tell, tell you what don't belong. Am I reading that right? Tell, yeah, tell you what don't belong. The bugs. Let's clear them out, shall we? Uh, you were a family. I'm sorry, they're gone, Yoko. Me too, Captain. But I'm starting to think that maybe I found another. Now let's get to shooting before I get all sentimental. Incoming! GG. Too easy.
that's I need one lockpick. No. These were more auspicious circumstances, but at least we're all here. This bringing them together, burying them. This is the kind of thing Hayes would have done. That makes it stupid. By all accounts, we should have left well enough alone, but that also makes it right. Captain, thank you. You're welcome, Nyoka. I just can't stand by while Manta Queen's room free. Spoken like a true huntsman. You'd have fit right in. You mind if we rest a spell before we head out? I'd... I'd like to bury Opal and Clara proper before I lay everyone's medallions to rest. Uh, you're leaving the medallions here? I suppose that's wise. Go ahead. Of course, although I think you should hold on to the medallions. I'd rather us head out. What? Why? Them's painful memories, Captain. They'll help remind you of both the good and the bad. Not just the bad. They'll... Uh, they'd like to be remembered once in a while, even if it hurts. What if someone finds this site? They'll just steal them. Huh. That's... That ain't a bad point. Alright, Captain. Thanks. Oh, there we go. Oh, let me get lockpick so I can get... Lockpick and hack. There, where's the... Oh, there's a... Finally I find a, uh... Attack Shotgun 2. Oh, and they got a... They have a level as well. Let's see. Shots from another... Uh, ricochet to a second nearby enemy. That's pretty good. And you have uh, sneak attack damage. That's pretty good. Two. And I think I've looted everything. Find a trask. Uh, I can't fast travel from here. Okay. Well, I think that's a, a good spot to end it there for, for tonight. Alright. Well. Uh, thank you very much for watching. And have a good night.